can say is that when we had to evacuate, I've been, not only me, we've been asking for the same infrastructure, roads, communications, that people in Canada take for granted for decades. When our community of Hay River started on fire, people were driving through our one road out with fire on both sides. We, the smoke was overcome, our communications went down. We have no redundancy. I couldn't get a hold of people. They couldn't know if they were safe, if they were evacuated or not. So I've been screaming for infrastructure for decades, all of us. Now we're talking about risks. 22 of our communities have no roads in, no permanent roads. And we all know if the smoke is there, you can't fly planes in. So if this happens, our season's not done, but if this happens next year, is it my fault? Whose fault is it when we can't get people out because we don't have basic infrastructure that every Canadian takes for granted? So I'm tired. I've been tired for a long time for asking for infrastructure, and now I'm angry. And I think that I'm not going to be able to do it alone. We've been arguing. I need every single Canadian to say it is not okay that the territories live like third world countries, that we do not have the same services that people in the South have. So please, everyone raise your voice, because I need the, the federal government to hear. We are Canadians, and we deserve the same. Thank you.